Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So I want to talk about The Walking Dead's latest teaser for Daryl Dixon Season 2 in which they showcased Norman Reedus and Melissa McBride, obviously in like promotion for Season 2, talking about like these very iconic and memorable Carol and Daryl moments. And the one moment they talked about here was the very final episode with Daryl and Carol on The Walking Dead. And I really wanted to talk about it because I watched the episode obviously when it aired, but the funny thing about it is that it didn't really feel like a final episode i wasn't really that sad about it but hearing them talk about it i'm almost getting sad about it now just looking back on like how big of a moment that actually was so yeah before going any further make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my walk into content like this obviously daryl dixon season two is premiering in 23 days from now we're almost three weeks away until the premiere after this video i will be going back and watching an earlier episode from season four i know that i i stopped where i stopped with season five and six and i'll eventually get back to that point but right now I'm kind of wanting to watch episodes from season four, and so I'm starting off with either episode one or episode two. I know I should probably just do episode one, but I kind of want to watch episode two specifically because the, the episode is titled Infected, and I know it started that whole storyline, though I guess I know the ending of that was sort of connected to the premiere, so maybe I'll go back and watch the premiere, but my point is I will be doing a review for one of those episodes later on today, and then I'll just keep doing that for the next however long, so yeah, stay tuned for that. But yeah, I wanted to talk about the, this new teaser or this new, I guess I don't know what you would call it, uh, for Daryl and Carol's final scene in The Walking Dead. It's kind of a teaser because it's promotion for the new season, and you have Melissa McBride and Norman Reedus obviously promoting season two here, and they're talking about older episodes and whatnot. And the scene that they have here is the scene between Daryl and Carol in the very last episode of The Walking Dead, where Daryl is basically going to leave to go and find Rick. And Carol is just sort of saying goodbye. Like, they're both saying goodbye to each other. And it's uh, it's a really amazing scene, honestly, when you go back and rewatch it. I, I don't know why, for me personally, when I look at the very last episode, I'm not that sad about it. Or at least maybe now if I went back and rewatched it. But I can't. I, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll be able to. But just, like, right now I can't. But when the episode came out, I remember being more upset about, like, Rosita's death and some of the other things. But... The thing about it is that, like, I knew that the story wasn't really ending, and it ended on such a powerful note with Rick and Michonne in the very end that... I was just so excited about The Ones Who Live. I was so excited about Daryl Dixon and for Dead City because we knew that all of those spinoffs were happening. So the ending wasn't really that sad, in my opinion. It wasn't something where I felt like, oh, The Walking Dead's ending. Like, maybe if they held back on the news of any of the spinoffs, then, yeah, that would have been really cool. Could you imagine that if we didn't know anything of, like, any of the spinoffs, even if Rick and Michonne were ever coming back, like, anything? And then after uh, The Walking Dead ends... Then we see Rick and Michonne at the very end, and then Daryl goes off to find Rick, and then maybe there's something there with Maggie and Negan, and then literally after the episode ends, they announce all of the spinoffs and whatnot. People would be, like, so sad watching the episode and then just get so excited about all of that, right? They did the same thing with Andrew Lincoln's departure. I know a lot of people found out beforehand, and they confirmed some details beforehand, but they never announced anything about the movies, right? And that was something that was announced after he left, was a trilogy of Rick Graham's movies that, um, yeah, were eventually going to come out, and obviously we got the ones who live and it seems like more Rick Graham story in the future so I'm kind of happy with the way it turned out and so yeah you know I didn't really care too much about the very last episode of uh, The Walking Dead in terms of it being like a goodbye to The Walking Dead like this is the end kind of thing because it just, I, I don't know, like, maybe for me personally, there was a lot of stuff going on, you know, like, a whole era of my life was ending around that time, it really felt like, or at least it was going in that direction, and it is kind of hilarious looking back at it now, you know, because, like, I was in a relationship for, like, 12 years, and it ended right around that point, right when The Walking Dead is ending, and now these spinoffs are focused on characters out on their own, that's sort of where I'm at too right now, and so I just never felt that emotional watching the episode, and honestly, when I look back at the very last episode, I remember watching it and I just have all these like bad feelings towards it just because of what was going on in my life and whatnot but in terms of you know like obviously I understood the deaths for like certain characters I understood the the how big certain moments were and whatnot but you know in terms of you know for Daryl and Carol I think that I knew that they were going to have a, a spinoff and I knew that other characters were getting spinoffs as well and I just felt like you know, it was more exciting to see how their story was going to end because I wanted to see what was next. And I remember that being the, the 
feeling really throughout the entire last season, which is kind of insane. Like, I think the feeling throughout the entirety of season 11 was really like, obviously in the beginning, there was some excitement about the Commonwealth, but I know the bonus episodes kind of killed any momentum that The Walking Dead had because The Walking Dead was really on top with the Whisperer arc. Like, even though Rick left, people were so excited about the Whisperers and like Alpha and Beta and that whole storyline. Like, it was so, so exciting that, you know, people didn't really focus too much on the whole Rick Grimes thing because, yeah, we were going to get movies at some point in the future, but like, right now, I just, I like where the story's at. And I think after, you know, the bonus episode, I just feel like, first of all, the bonus episodes probably shouldn't have happened because it really did sort of kill all the momentum. But there was a change overall with The Walking Dead where they they ended up really rushing through a lot of storyline, right? Like, the plan was to have, like, season 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, or, or whatever, right? And basically, the, the main characters would leave, like Daryl, Carol, Maggie, and Negan. They would leave and have their own spinoffs. Or I don't even know if Maggie and Negan would have, but I know Daryl and Carol for sure would have. But they would have had their own spinoffs and eventually would have came back. And, and the show right now would, you know, I don't know what season it would be on, but it would still be going. And that was the original plan, which I don't know how that would have went. I mean, it would have been cool to see all the other characters for sure. A lot of characters probably would have died, but I just think that ending it where the comic ended makes a lot of sense. And I mean, you could just do other stories now with the other characters if you want to, right? And so they went in a different direction overall. And when you look at season 11, like the Reaper arc was just so exciting, first of all, at first, and then it just kind of fell apart afterwards. And it really felt rushed because they had to sort of end all of it by the by the mid-season finale right going into like the, i guess the mid-season premiere and the commonwealth arc you know at that point took over but they also rushed through a lot of that story especially you know in the last like eight episodes there like a lot of that story was really rushed because they had to end everything and the thing about the commonwealth arc is that i was never a fan of it like in the comic I really didn't like it. I think at first it was exciting, the whole New World Order thing, and then obviously Dwight's uh, comic death. But even before Dwight's comic death, it was starting to slow down quite a bit. That happened, which was crazy. But then afterwards, it just really went nowhere. And I wasn't that excited about the story overall. So I just knew that I was probably going to feel the same way here in the final season. And I did. You know, there was definitely some stuff in the final season that made a lot of things better, I would say. But... I think that that's sort of the issue with the final season is that we were all waiting for the spinoffs. We were just waiting to see how this was going to set up the spinoffs, right? And uh, that's what's kind of insane about the final season. At least for me personally, I was just waiting for, you know, for this to end because I wanted to see how it was going to set up the spinoffs because the spinoffs have been really amazing. I've really enjoyed them. And so I never felt that emotional about Daryl and Carol's very final scene. And Melissa McBride and Norman Reedus talking about the scene and just how emotional they're they're getting over it. Or actually, they weren't really that emotional. Eventually, they were, but at first, they kind of laugh about it. But when you see the scene, again, I haven't really watched the final episode since then. And seeing the scene, I'm just like, I can't believe that actually happened. Like, it was actually that emotional. Like, it was really a goodbye. It was a final goodbye between the characters. And it's kind of insane. And, and honestly, it makes me really excited to see Daryl and Carol back together again in uh, The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, right? Season two. But it's, uh, I mean, it's really crazy. The music in this scene is really amazing. Daryl and Carol are, ju are just saying goodbye. And like, this is the end for those characters, you know? And this is sort of how I've always pictured the ending, or at least a ending for, you know, the, the two characters here was that Carol and Daryl would just say goodbye. Carol was going to stay back, you know, I guess in whatever place they were in. And Daryl was just going to say goodbye and then leave, right? And then just like ride off on his bike. That's how I've always pictured Daryl's ending. It just like made the most sense. And I was the happiest with Daryl just like going out there and, you know, whatever. And that's what's kind of interesting about the, the ending here is that there's no mention of like, I'm going to go out there and find Rick. Like they're really, unless maybe there is, because I'm only really focusing on this here. But from what I remember, there was no mention. I just assumed that, yeah, obviously he's going out there to try and find Rick, right? And I feel like that should have been a, a mention just because the, the story was still continuing. This wasn't the end for them, but maybe they wanted to do it in a way where this served as an ending still to The Walking Dead. But I just feel like, I don't know, like you can't really do that because you're doing other shows. You're still doing other stories. So this isn't an end at all. Like this is, isn't going to be an end. And so, yeah, watching a scene again, I was like, 
it, it's crazy to see the scenes because it feels like that can happen at some point in the future. Yeah, I just never really felt that emotional about all of it. And what's so funny is in terms of the timeline of Daryl Dixon, like the walking to Daryl Dixon, it's only been a few months or something like that since the very final episode. So Daryl wasn't really out there for that long. And I, I feel like that kind of ruins Daryl's search for Rick. I think they should have at least fast forwarded like a year or two into the future, right? Like did something like that because I know he's been looking for him forever. Like it's been a very long time. Even on the walking dead, we saw a lot of that, but at this point here, like this was actually going to be uh, like a real search where he's leaving for a long time. He's saying goodbye to everybody. And so I just think that, I mean, uh, you know, if you would have just had it like a year or two, then it would have made a lot more sense instead. Like, you know, literally, if he just would have stayed a couple of months at the Commonwealth, then he would have saw Rick and Michonne eventually come back because obviously that they come back at some point after this. Right. So, yeah, I don't really understand the timeline there. It's it's kind of silly. And um, yeah, you know, like at some point I will go back and rewatch the Walking Dead final season and I'll see, you know, I guess how it, it is in terms of its own story, because I know a lot of that season was setting up, you know, the future and the spinoffs and stuff, which I feel like it was kind of a mess of, of uh, storylines because they had to rush it and everything. Right. And they went with the safe route with almost everything. And I don't know how the final season is going to be looked at in the future, because to me, I think that the Reapers were probably one of the most exciting groups in a very long time, like, the Commonwealth wasn't really that exciting, and yes, all of us now look back at the Reaper arc, and we're just like, oh, that really was not exciting at all, but the very first couple of episodes with the Reapers, before we actually saw their community, and we got into that whole story there, like, before that, because that was, I mean, all of that was rushed, and then eventually just became, like, not that exciting, but the original idea of this group being connected to Maggie's group, and, like, where Maggie was, because if you remember, Maggie wasn't a part of the story for a while, she came back into the story at this point here, and just how the tone of the story was at that point there and you know that fight scene that happens in episode one or two or whatever i don't remember what episode that was but just like absolutely incredible to, to actually watch there and i really like the reaper's arc there but of course because they had to rush the final season and get to the commonwealth arc they had to go through all that so quick and it's actually kind of insane when you really think about the fact that they were the perfect villains to sort of explore and get into and they were a totally like original idea that wasn't from the comic book and they were the perfect villains for after the whisperers like honestly it was so exciting seeing that group and like wondering more about them they looked so cool the music and everything with this group our group actually left alexandria went to maggie's old community and i still think they messed that up there like you know story decisions and whatnot i think just weren't i think the right choices weren't made there i think you could have made that arc really exciting but those couple of episodes that were honestly really incredible and i just wonder where the reaper arc could have actually went because they were actually really creepy and i know that was one of the the things that i even mentioned afterwards was like you know the fact that they kept taking their mask off all the time and having leah attached to the group i think is also fine if you want to you know sort of make that connection to the bonus episodes because obviously you referenced that before so yeah perfect like go ahead and do that 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 works that was really exciting that was awesome but i liked the reaper arc because it brought our group back on the road like we weren't in alexandria anymore alexandria was kind of falling apart and it was just like the best story that I think if you focused more on that and had a whole season with the Reapers, even a season and a half going into season 12 and say season 11 was like a normal 16 episodes or something, then it would have been like our characters out there trying to survive this and that. Maybe they actually fail in the end. And then when they eventually come back, they have nothing. And then that's when the Commonwealth show up. And maybe we don't see the Commonwealth at all throughout the entirety of season 11, right? Like the cliffhanger from the finale in season 10, maybe we see more of that in season 12 or like in the finale of season 11. And that builds to season 12 because they used to do a lot of stuff like that back in the day as well. Like, I think there was just a better way to handle all of that. I think The Walking Dead should have had definitely an extra season instead of rushing all of that storyline. But yeah, that's why I look at the Reaper arc and I just think that it, it really did fail overall but i will say those first couple of episodes are still really amazing you go back and watch them like they're honestly really incredible episodes and so yeah but uh yeah i just wanted to talk about uh that scene there and uh talk about the very final goodbye between daryl and carol in the very 
last episode because it was um, a good buy that didn't really feel like a good buy, at least for me personally. And then, uh, yeah, I want to talk about the Reaper arc and whatnot. So definitely post your thoughts down below on uh, Daryl and Carol's final goodbye episode. And do you think the Reaper arc in The Walking Dead final season failed? Post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.